guys, what's up? It's your girl, Lunar Ghosties here, and we are back with another Sins in Bloom challenge. This is episode four, and we accomplished a lot in episode three. We have a boyfriend now. We leveled up our wellness skill. We continue to thrive with gardening, and we're starting to see really, really good profit when we sell our products. In today's episode, I thought we would focus a little bit more on Duncan, let him do some fishing, maybe take Juniper with him so that this way she can work on her fishing skill because we do need to work on that some more as well. We're also going to schedule a little get together with Duncan and Knox and Juniper so that this way they can meet each other and get to know each other. And it's also going to be Halloween. So I figure, wow, okay, more stuff popped up on this calendar than I was expecting it to pop up. So looks like the city is gonna be bustling with some humor and hijinks. We've got Halloween on Tuesday, so maybe we can do something fun for Halloween. And then I thought maybe Wednesday, since the weather is supposed to be nice and sunny, we could get together, maybe go out to eat for Knox and Duncan to meet each other. And then maybe a different time this week, we can pop on over to Evergreen Harbor and maybe meet Knox's parents. It is 4.30 in the morning. Juniper is wide awake, ready to get her day started. It's Monday, she's like, let's go, let's get everything out of the way. So we're gonna do just that. I'm gonna let her eat, we'll do that first. And I'll let her brew a little bit of a pot of maybe, let's do some healthy green tea. Start the morning off with some healthy greens, you know? Get her energized for the rest of the day. We'll get her working on her usual chores, of of course. We do have off of work today, so it looks like we're due for a promotion, judging by the check mark. We just won't get it until probably tomorrow. And here we go. Duncan is wide awake as well now. Oh no. While using their tea magic personal brewer, Juniper's heavy-handed clumsiness sadly caused it to break. Duncan's like, I just woke up and this is, this is what I wake up to. More appliances breaking, but... It's okay, it builds character. Better to get it out of the way now than have to worry about it later or just letting it sit there and spark for the entire day. And we'll sit and enjoy our tea with our dad while he eats his morning mac and cheese, you know? Again, he's retired, he can do what he wants, right? <laughs> He can absolutely do whatever he wants. He can have mac and cheese for breakfast if that makes him happy. But we can sit and enjoy some tea together. He's always waking up on the wrong side of the bed too. He's always in a really good mood. He just, he has some, he has some pent up anger that he can't seem to figure out. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna let you sit back down and enjoy your tea when you're done with the dryer course. And he wants to stay outside for eight hours, you betcha. Oh, oh, I guess we're done with our tea already. Oh, but we're grabbing a second. Okay. She's like, well, I finished my tea by the time you sat down, but I'll grab another one to then just not sit with you. Okay. That's rude. Juniper, where are you going with that? You're going to sit all the way over here in the living room. You know what, Duncan? You want to stay outside today? I have a plan for you. Because Halloween is in a few days, technically tomorrow, I am going to let you rummage for some decorations and maybe you can decorate the house. He's still rummaging and going through, but we'll have to find spots for some of these. Oh my gosh, there's so many. He's just pulling them out left and right. Oh, he's got himself a gnome. Okay, so we've got a duck here. Not sure how that relates, but you know, to each their own, I guess. Where can we put the cornucopia? Kind of looks like the pumpkins are like melting into the fireplace, but it works. We can set these up outside. Maybe we'll put them like right here, one on each side. This guy as well. Maybe we can even put him here. We've pulled out a decent amount of decorations, honestly. I don't think we need them all. So I think what we have is good. We've got the, the house decorated. We've got some cute decor on the outside. We've got ourselves a gnome that we can keep out until harvest fest. And we've got a cornucopia as well. So so I think we have just enough stuff to celebrate the start of the holiday season. Good job, Duncan. You've done really, really well. How are you doing so far? Maybe we can get Duncan to rake some of the leaves too, because it looks like we've got some leaves to be raking back here. The health is declining on our insects again, so I am going to make sure that they're taken care of. We've got some plants to evolve, and we've completed our milestone. So now we're on level two of four of freelance botanist, which means we have to achieve level six of the gardening skill. 
we're on level five right now. We have to graft onto three plants and fertilize five plants. So we'll have to get working on that. I think if we take a cutting though, like it's gonna ruin the plant. So I definitely want us to be very careful doing that. Collect your eggs, do your usual. Ooh, we got some weeding that we have to do. I'm excited to see how much money she ends up making. I heard you and Knox started dating. Congratulations on landing a new boyfriend. Kyle, thank you. So in order to graft onto some plants, click on a plant and select graft. Sims can unlock this interaction by increasing their gardening skill and taking a cutting from a different plant. So I'm not sure what happens when we graft plants. I think it does take away the plant that we have. Not entirely sure, so we'll have to definitely double check on that before we do anything, because then we'll lose out on some of our vegetables or fruits. Hallow's Eve is tomorrow. We will collect a swarm apply mite treatment and i'm doing this all without her beekeeper suit but i think she'll be okay they're only never mind they're enraged so this could end really really badly but you know we do our best here bees seem to be okay did we bond how's the honey situation only partially full so i'm gonna leave it still and then we'll take our bees over here so that we can evolve some more that are over here because the bees can't reach. There we go, perfect. Maybe we can do some morning meditation. I mean, the morning's almost over, but we can get some meditating out of the way. And then I'm gonna have Duncan, once he's done doing his reminiscing, I'm gonna see if he can rake some leaves. We don't ask Duncan to do much, but I think it's nice when he does do like little outdoorsy things with us. I have so much going on this week, I could really use some help with my errands. Well, we can ask her about some errands, I suppose, when we go to sell our crops, but we, st we still have time before she closes shop. Lifestyle gained. Oh, this is not the lifestyle we were trying to gain, but that works. We have outdoorsy in progress. Perfect, because I'm pretty sure we need to gain the outdoorsy lifestyle for this challenge. So that is perfect, but it looks like we have close-knit in progress as well. Sims who live a sedentary lifestyle favor relaxing and lounging in all its forms and prefer to avoid exerting themselves. To acquire or maintain this lifestyle, pursue low-energy activities that allow a sim to relax, sit, and lounge around, or join a low-energy career. Basically, the lifestyle effects are very benefits when performing low energy activities, prefers to perform low energy activities, increased work performance in low energy careers. I wonder if ours is considered low energy. I don't know. Decreased work performance in high energy careers. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that it's a, a low energy career. And uh, tense when performing high energy activities or when going too long without doing relaxing activities. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So we've got ourselves one lifestyle so far we've got room for two more we definitely need to achieve the outdoorsy lifestyle though spending as much time outdoors will do us some good and we're almost leveling up with wellness oh no today's bills are due and oh no you guys they owe 4041 for their bills duncan i'm gonna have to have you do the painful thing and we're gonna cry about it a little bit because we're gonna be pretty much broke juniper can now offer mental relaxation tips and can also perform the tree pose in yoga we're gonna go sell our stuff i think we have we have decent amounts stocked up in the fridge and we did buy groceries recently so I think I'm just gonna let her sell what she got. We could honestly use the extra simoleons right now and we're not like struggling for food. I hope this doesn't put too much of a damper on our plans with Knox though, to hang out with Duncan because I really wanted to take them out to eat. But if, it's, if we don't have a lot of money, how am I supposed to do that? See if we can haggle so that we can earn a little bit extra money. We earned a lot last time. I think we earned like 700 something simoleons. So I'm really, really hoping that we can earn close to that if not more. All right, we've got 25% off, which means we get 10% profit. So we're just gonna sell it all. Yeah, perfect. That puts us in the thousand. So that is good with me. Thank you for your time, Kim. As always, um, you know what? Why don't we ask her about her errands because she did call us. So let's offer to help her because that could also earn us some money if I'm completely honest, you know? <laughs> like, we'll see what she needs. Maybe we've got what she needs. A simple request will give us 90 simoleons. Okay, she's got a few here, so let's see. 
This one pays the best, but maybe we can start off with something small. You ever have one of those days where you've got too much to do and not enough time to do it? I need some ingredients for my next meal, but I'm not sure when I'll have my, any spare time. Would you be able to help me out? We can certainly try. My stomach is empty and my appetite is roaring. An aubergine parmesan would fill me right up. And as long as you're so graciously indulging me, pumpkin scones to finish my meal sounds scrumptious. Just a single serving of each, please. I wouldn't want to be greedy after all. Do they sell this at the pub? Okay, we, we can get aubergine parmesan and can we also get pumpkin scones? We can, all right, perfect. So I'm gonna order both. If we have leftovers, I can just bring them home and then that's more food for us in the fridge. But then at least this way, we can hopefully earn the 90 simoleons. This is, I mean, we're paying money to make money, but I, that's how it works, right? Okay, don't eat that, don't eat that, don't eat that. Put that in your inventory and put that in your inventory as well. I'm always so scared that they're gonna eat it. Deliver both of those. Kim, where'd you go? Oh, you're over here. Okay, I'm like looking for you. you. I mean, she does a lot for us and she lets us haggle a lot. So I guess it's the least we can do. 90 simoleons just for us. Oh, yummers, that looks divine. Please accept some small tokens of my appreciation. They'll come in handy the next time you prepare a meal. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some tasty food to tuck in to you. What'd you give us? Bangers and mash. Ooh, and some milk and sugar and an egg and some meat. Okay. Oh, wow. She gave us a decent amount of stuff for helping her out, including the money. So you know what? It's oh, nice yeah. to be nice. It pays to be nice to people and help them out when they need help because they will help you in return. I'm also going to see if I can get these two to go fishing because if they can go fishing together and catch some fish, we can store some in the fridge, of course, but then we can also maybe sell some on top of that. All right, you're still spending some time outside. I see that you were raking away. So I'm going to have you throw those away, please. Oh my gosh, you were really busy. <gasps> and the sink broke. All right, Duncan, get on that too, please. I'm going to also have to have him start upgrading some stuff because thanks keep breaking but we're not really doing much upgrading all right i'm gonna see i think there's like a fishing spot over here somewhere yeah here we go it's like down the street so it's a bit of a walk but they can at least enjoy this together the house really does look nice all decorated for halloween <laughs> i love it all right we're doing some nice father daughter fishing and bonding looks like there are some fish caught some bass that's perfect Ooh. Looks like Juniper's doing a lot of good catching, but I don't think Duncan's caught anything yet. So good for you, Juniper. You're one up in your, your father here, who is the master fisherman. Oh, there we go, Duncan. You caught yourself a minnow. Not as big as the bass that your daughter caught before, but again, you know what? Props to you, props to you. Very, very nice. Being near old Stumpy, it might be chopped down, but old Stumpy is still an apt reminder of how grand nature can be. What's old Stumpy? What the heck is old Stumpy? I need to know. Is it this guy? No. Are we near something that's like special? Oh, I have no idea. I don't see anything in particular, but that's interesting that she she has like a thing for it. Hmm. I'll have to do some more exploring one day to figure out what the heck that is. Oh, is this old Stumpy? Cause I mean, it is, it's just a big tree stump. This must be old Stumpy, okay. Can't interact with it though, but I guess it gives them like a, a fun moodlet. So that's really cool. All right. Off to bed for you and off to bed for you when you get back. It is. Tuesday. It is not technically Hallow's Eve just yet. We've got a couple hours until Hallow's Eve is officially announced, but happy Hallow's Eve! Woohoo! <laughs> She's gonna have her bangers and mash leftovers for breakfast, I guess, you know? It's a holiday, go crazy. She does have work today, so hopefully we see that she gets another promotion. It looks like she might, it looks like she might. So that'll be good for us. And then chickens are still asleep. It's still a little early for them. Some of the roosters are up though. These guys will feed them, collect and nurture. So we'll take care of our little bug friends first. And we'll have to pick out some Halloween costumes for these guys. Oh, so much is happening. Okay, it looks like looks like we need to buy new insects because our crickets, I guess, unfortunately passed away um, while we weren't looking. I don't know. We did um we did crickets. Let's try beetles this time. And we will work from home, of course, as we always do. We were also promoted to leaf cutter, so we now make an additional two 
simoleons per hour for a grand total of 25 simoleons per hour so we'll earn ourselves a little bit more money we got a 500 simoleon bonus some seasonal summer plants which we won't be using for a while since it's the fall we did get ourselves a sprinkler so i wonder if we should try the sprinkler out and a number one mom wall decal but good good we've got ourselves another promotion so that means that we are level four of the career so we're almost halfway through the career because i believe it goes all the way up to level 10 and i think by level five we can kind of choose what path we want to go on gardening we're doing really really well we're like halfway through level five already so i think that's going to be the first skill that we end up max out and I think because we haven't had to like make food in a bit we can sell everything again just get ourselves back up to hopefully the 4,000 simoleon range all right let's go check out what's going on inside Duncan's probably getting himself geared up for any trick-or-treater he does want to wear a costume and he does want to do some trick-or-treating. He also really loves being in the spooky spirit because he's an art lover. So we'll definitely have to get him to do some spooky interactions. Maybe he can scare Juniper. Duncan's still in his PJs, but I'm gonna see. Get him to wear a cute little Halloween costume. I feel like Duncan would go and do something like simple, but like effective. So I'm gonna have him dress up as the Grim Reaper. <laughs> It works too with his like anger issues that he's got going on. And then as far as Juniper goes, I think Juniper mailman. Cause I mean, a mailman, you have to walk around outside a lot. So there we go. Now they're dressed in cute little costumes. I don't know if this is gonna count, but I'm gonna have him scare Juniper. See if that works towards spooky spirit. It did, it did. Okay, it counted perfect. <laughs> Oh no! Duncan seems to thrive on the shock and rage of others. Is it time to admit that he likes mischief? I mean, he's done what? He's scared Juniper once, but if he loves the spooky spirit of everything, I would think that he likes mischief, so I will say yes. Hello, mate. We would love for you to come visit us again in Henford on Bagley. Are you flirting with Duncan, Agatha? Oh my god, he's he's gonna go. All right, you you go do that, Duncan, I guess. I guess he won't be chilling here for the trick-or-treaters. We're going with him. Okay, I feel like Agatha coaxed us into coming here, so I guess I'll take this as an opportunity for Duncan to make a friend. At, at least a friend, right? At least a friend. He, he could use a friend, you know? And it's Halloween. This this is his holiday. Oh, and Juniper's like, where the heck did you just go? <gasps> what is this? So I found a ring in Nox's bag. I think he's going to propose to me. I don't know what to do. What should I say? Yes? No? <gasps> I'm gonna tell Duncan to be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Listen, like, if I were Duncan, they only just became boyfriend and girlfriend, so I don't know... Like, maybe this is another Hallow's Eve prank that Juniper is falling for right now. Or maybe she's trying to scare Duncan back. Maybe that's what's going on here because Duncan scared her. So she's like, oh my god, I found a ring in Knox's bag. First of all, she's not even hanging out with Knox right now. Second of all, like, that... That is something that would scare a father because Duncan's over here like, what do you mean you found a ring? What the heck? Like, you just... Didn't you just ask him to be your boyfriend? Why is he moving so fast? I see what game Juniper is playing. I'm gonna say <laughs> you should really decide for yourself because he's like, what? What do I want? I don't know what I want. I wanted you to decide for me. It's obvious I can't count on you for huge impactful life decisions that don't really concern you. Thanks for nothing. She full named her father there. Uh, that's... <sighs> Wow. All right, Agatha. All right, all right. Ask a question about technology. He's like, what is that phone you just pulled out? What do, how do you use that? But I'm gonna get him to talk with Agatha a bit. Tell her some funny stories. Use his Duncan charm and his Grim Reaper outfit because it's Halloween. Oh my gosh, the elders are gathering. <laughs> Another one just showed up. Introduce himself to this guy too because I don't know, I think, you know, he's making friends. Maybe Agatha was like, no, we definitely need to get you here. Your daughter is a, a really good... Um, um, customer of mine so I think you definitely should come and 
hang out and get to know some of us. There's a lot of, this is where a lot of people come to retire, I suppose, because it's so peaceful. It's a good place to get to know some of your fellow elders. We're back with the actual main character of the series. I'm gonna have her while she waits for trick-or-treaters to show up. She can practice her meditation, get in the zone. The chickens are like, okay, we're here to make sure that you're really focusing, that you're really like good at what you do when it comes to meditation. We're just gonna sit and stare at you and cause problems. <laughs> oh no, why are some of them starving and upset? I'm gonna scatter some feed nearby then, if some of them are hungry. Maybe not all of them have eaten. Clearly not. Yeah, they want attention, clearly, because he's like, I only have okay attention, you need to pay attention to me instead of the meditation mat, thank you very much. So maybe we will give the chickens some attention. We don't talk to them nearly as much as we should, I suppose. You guys, you guys, we gained another lifestyle. Okay, let's see, let's see. We did it, we did it, we gained the outdoorsy lifestyle. So Sims living an outdoorsy lifestyle prefer to be outside, taking in the fresh air. To acquire or maintain this lifestyle, prioritize doing activities outdoors rather than indoors. So we'll have various benefits when doing outdoor activities. Prefer to be outdoors, obviously. Increased work performance in outdoor careers. Okay, so if we have decrease for the sedentary, at least we have increase for it being an outdoor career. Hence, when spending too much time inside rather than outside. Makes sense. But we did it. We've accomplished one of the things that we needed to accomplish for... The Daisy Gen. We got the outdoorsy lifestyle. That is so exciting. Our first accomplishment a few episodes in. Still no trick-or-treaters though. I'm surprised. I guess while Duncan is still out and about, maybe we can chat a little bit with Knox. Oh my gosh, we've got ourselves a trick trick-or-treater. Get off the phone, Knox. She's gotta go. She's gotta go. We have a trick-or-treater. Oh my god, they're leaving. Oh no, they're not. Okay, I thought I thought for sure the trick-or-treater was like, you're taking too long, lady. I just want my candy. Perfect. Oh, Duncan, you have to come back. You're missing out on the trick-or-treaters. Maybe I'll have her like sit and scope it out. We just video called. We'll send Knox a text like, sorry, there was a trick-or-treater at my door. I had to go. But this way, he at least knows why we <laughs> abruptly hung up on him. I know you're having a really good time with the elders, but you're missing out on the trick-or-treaters. So I'm gonna, I mean, I don't know if we're gonna get any more than the one we just got. Although it looks like it's counting you, I guess, because it's technically your house too for the one trick-or-treater that we had. Oh my gosh, we got another one. What are you supposed to be? A skeleton? Duncan, go ahead. It's your time to shine. You are supposed to be a little skeleton. Look at you. <laughs> How cute are these kids? And this one I think is one of our neighbors. So there we go. Duncan has officially had a good Hallow's Eve. And then now that Halloween is gonna be over, Wednesday can be focused on let's go out and get to know Knox Day. I think Duncan, like he'll trick his daughter and whatnot because she's family, he can do that. But I feel like with the kids, he's got like a soft spot and he's like, listen, everybody gets treats when they come to my house. Cause that's just how much he loves Halloween. All right, I am going to call it a night for Duncan. We'll have we'll have Juniper on candy duty in case anybody else <laughs> does decide to show up. It's dark out now, you know? Kids should go to bed. It's Tuesday, they have school tomorrow. It's time for sleepies. It's Wednesday, my dudes. And we've got work today. I will let her have some breakfast, of course. All right, Duncan, I'm gonna let you rock in your rocking chair for the morning. Enjoy yourself. Oh, these chickens are stinky. Oh dear, okay, we're gonna have to take care of that. Maybe first, will that automatically clean all of our chickens? If we clean the coop, Duncan came out to chat with us and hang out, but now we can get down to the real deal and harvest all our stuff. This guy though, we'll have to figure out this poor chicken. So I think the best thing we can do is let her like chill out and hopefully she'll get better. The bees seem happy, so we'll bond with them and collect the swarm. I'm gonna have the bees pollinate the plants again. Seems to be a really good method to evolving our plants. So we're almost done with chores. I feel like it's it's nice that she has so much that she's got going on because it, it definitely keeps her day busy. I mean, it's already almost lunchtime and she's gotten a lot done. She's, you know, had her breakfast. She'll have like, Maybe lunch, maybe dinner, probably definitely dinner because we're gonna go out with Knox. She's she's keeping herself busy. For somebody who only does like gardening work from home, like 
She gets a lot done. Rooster Chick is now a fully grown rooster. It'll crow in the morning, try to protect other chickens from foxes, and will try to breed with hens in the same coop to create hatchable eggs. <gasps> Got ourselves another rooster. It's a white rooster, very cool. Let's get you to Henford, take care of that, and then we will go out to eat with Knox. I'm gonna set them up. We'll, we'll have Juniper make the plans and whatnot. This was a cute little rustic diner that I got off of the gallery. It fits the lot very perfectly. It looks like it's pet friendly, which I also really love. This is by Hey, it's L on the gallery. You can see their name right there. Definitely go check it out. It's just a rustic themed diner with plenty of space for your pets to play, but we're, we're just here to enjoy a nice meal and hopefully some father to boyfriend bonding. It's four o'clock, so we're here for the early bird special. The early bird special, knowing how dine out works, is gonna turn into the late night snack. It's a cute diner for sure. It definitely looks like it's built for Brindleton Bay specifically, but I feel like with the harbor atmosphere here too, it really works. All right, where are you putting us? Here's your table. Enjoy your meal. Oh, right here. Okay, perfect. Duncan's here. Here comes Knox. So let's see. It's dinner. Looks like they do offer some nice beverages. So I think for Duncan, we'll do some juice on the rocks. And then for us, we'll go with some healthy green. And for Knox, I feel like Knox, I don't know, it's dinner time. So would he be dumb enough to do like coffee in the evening? Probably not. So I think we'll just, we'll get, we'll have him go with a water. I feel like he's a natural, like I'll just order water kind of guy. We'll give him a life lesson on family. You know, I feel like Duncan would be like, like, well, listen, this is how, this is how it works here. If you're gonna be dating my daughter, you better be ready to settle down. But I, th I feel like he's easy to get along with. So I, I don't think this is gonna be too hard. Really what we're here for is for Duncan and Knox to get along, to, you know, learn things about each other. So let's see, we're gonna enthuse about being handy. Like, listen, it's really important for Juniper to have a handyman around the house at all times. Things break easily. How are you gonna fix that? And oh no, I'm seeing some red. They both like the outdoors. Maybe if we get them talking to each other about the outdoors, there won't be a lot of red flying around. <laughs> All right, are we? Are we? Are we good, Dad? What's going on? Are, are? How are we? How are we getting along here? Are we? Are we liking Knox? What's the? What's the consensus? We'll discuss more of our interests. See if there's anything else we have in common. We've got ourselves our drinks. So while the waitress is here, let's order again before she walks away. I think we'll skip out on the appetizers. It's a diner, so, you know, unless somebody wants an appetizer for their dinner, I think we're we're good to just go straight for the entree. I feel like Knox is very conscious about what he consumes, so I am going to have him eat a veggie burger. For Duncan, Duncan would definitely go all out and get himself a grand breakfast at a diner. He would be like, absolutely need myself a grand breakfast. And as for Juniper, I think she'd be an omelet girly like myself. So we'll get that ordered and ready to go. I don't know why Brittany Cho is just chilling by our table. Maybe she's desperate for some fan attention, but she's not gonna get it from us. Things seem to be okay. I mean, he doesn't have like a big friendship bar with Knox, but I, I, I these things take time too. So right now they're at least acquaintances. It looks like they do have some good compatibility though. So that's always really good to see as well. While he may be still warming up to the idea of Knox, could be good things in the, the long run. Should we order dessert? Might as well to celebrate. Let's not maybe bring out a cake, but we'll, we'll celebrate the occasion. We'll have some apple pie ourselves. For Duncan, I feel like he'd have a classic vanilla cupcake. And for Knox, I think he'd have like a lemon bar. Talk about fishing. You really like fishing. So I think the more you talk about it, the more you guys will get along. The more things you guys find in common, the better. Gotten our dessert is all taken care of. So we are gonna pay and it was a nice, 91 simoleons, so honestly, not bad at all. With everybody in high spirits, I am going to send these guys to bed and end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this episode, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more Sims in Bloom or other fun, exciting videos, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button so that you guys get notified as soon as my videos go live. Thank you guys so much again for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!